Hi everyone, this is Suzanne Wagner and I'm doing a more in-depth astrology for May 2022. The theme this month is about getting grounded and getting real. The tumultuous currents of Neptune continue to bring emotional experiences that intend to move us towards the deeper waters where the darker emotions thrive. There are many shifting tides bringing self-doubt and a desire to change, and we in the eclipse cycles that began on April 30th are also going to get hit with a new lunar level of it on May 16th in Scorpio. The forces of these eclipses are profound and far-reaching. Expect to see the shadows of many to surface under the spell of this lunar eclipse. Many things will need to be let go. Painful cycles arose and many lives will be impacted. It will force many to start over and to move on. Purpose and lifestyle will take some hits. Persuasion is seen as an intention to consciously manipulate others. It is not looked at favorably. We are being asked to reinvent our, worlds, our world in ways that bring more confidence and do not leave others behind. The word faith is seen as a battle cry for the uneducated that do not see past the blinders that they are grasping firmly to their face. Opinions seem woefully insensitive. Overconfidence hides mistakes from the past that some would prefer for you to not see, bring up, or remember. Boring is not the title that I would give May. Expect our mental clarity to increase, and while we want spring to be lighthearted, many things take a more serious tone with that solar eclipse and later in the month. Things that you wanted finished are going to come back around for one more episode of As the World Turns. May is a massive game of wizard's chess, and lives are on the line. The end of the month is supercharged and on many levels, and the powers of Mars will join with Jupiter in Aries, kicking conflicts into high gear at the end of the month. We will see many new courageous acts that will show the power within the human psyche. Outcomes are messy and most end unfavorably. If you are in Aries, the tone is intense and deep. Uncertainty rules and future is in question. Finances seem stretched and changes will have to be made. Conversations that have been needing to happen will transpire but leave you in more confusion rather than clarity. Do not let your anger get the better of you because things and your attitude will shift mid-month towards others seeing you in a more brilliant light. If you are a Taurus, get ready. Things are exploding and the shock waves are going to move through all relationships. Do not go into denial about what is happening. You are a bull that faces things head on. You are not an ostrich that can easily hide its head in the sand. Your tendency is to resist and persist, but the tone of this month is wilder and stretching towards new freedoms. You will worry about the finances, so cut back on spending and look at the numbers honestly. Something is coming that is going to change your life in ways that can be terrifying to a stable, loving Taurus. You may feel as if you are stumbling over the current levels of denial and you are attempting that you are attempting to project. Such a pattern will lead you away from your destiny that waits on the other side of change. If you are a Gemini, this month has a lot of drama in it. Surprises and epiphanies are the words for May. Clarity can come in a flash if you are willing to look deep inside. Your ruling planet Mercury is headed retrograde this month and it will leave you feeling conflicted and not knowing which cards to play. The people you choose to be with are going to either hurt or help you, depending on if you choose friends wisely. Rushing will not work, so take your time. By the end of the month, you will see what is arising in this new you. If you are a Cancer, that shell you've been hiding behind is no longer necessary. No sense in carrying all that past baggage around with you into this very new future. You want to network and learn. You are paying more attention to what really matters and you realize that you are not your past. Your levels of self-expression are improving and you are feeling that the tension in social circles improves by the 22nd of May. Winning an argument is not necessary. and Learning seems a better choice. If you are a Leo, professionally, you keep looking at what are your goals. Eclipses always impact you because you are all about relationships between the sun and the moon, and so are those eclipses. 
The solar eclipse on April 30th set a new tone and one that is not dependent on the approval of others or your desire to fix situations. While you are willing to hear everyone out, you are not in the old pattern any longer and it has allowed you to step back and see more clearly from a new perspective. You know that this month is going to rock the world in a big way, but you are the sun and you can handle it. By the end of the month, you are seeing the truth in a more hopeful light, even though the world is tilting more towards complex. If you are a Virgo, Virgo, I know that you all have done for years, all you've done for years is step back and reboot your experiences. It has been a wild emotional ride. You want to have no doubt in a world filled with it. You want nothing to bring you down, but many things are uncomfortable you are the embodiment of creation and destruction, so why not embrace these major shifts? You will see something that you had previously missed or glossed over. It will force you to set new goals that will matter. If you are a Libra, you have a lot of love to offer, but is the, intimacy, the current intimacy really working for you? You are a river that runs deep and you love to love, but for you this month, a few boundaries are probably necessary. Many things are pulling you out and away. Focus is a problem and sudden surprises might just work for you. The future will require you to have an open heart and discover what you want to make your life worth the effort. If you are a Scorpio, it is a big month of change. Your desire for independence is fighting with your desire for intimacy. Just remember that attachment isn't love many will be pulling on you. Don't allow them to deplete your energy. Your destiny is on the other side if you face up to what you have been doing and why. Those blocks on the path you might have placed there intentionally to slow you down. This month, it can seem wiser to remove them. Old friends reappear and don't get caught up in the memory game. While unfinished business needs to be completed, it does not need to stop you from your potential. If you are a Sagittarius, use the inspiration of these eclipses to propel you to another place entirely. Something or someone is going to tempt you to move into another place. But look before you leap. Feelings are complicated and your choice is not easy. You may feel your energy is low and that your patience is not where you feel functional. The best use of this month is in creative endeavors. Beauty will calm the temperamental beast inside. If you are a Capricorn, this month can pick you up at the beginning of the month only to throw you down after the 16th. Sleep is most important because you are out of sync with your body rhythms. Best to stay home and be cozy. After the 16th, the tensions increase and you may feel as if there are too many cooks in the kitchen and those parts all want to be in your own head. What used to make you happy is not working and so once again you will need to reach deeper. If you are an Aquarius, powerful forces of creative change bring opportunities. The uncertainty principle is something that you are very familiar with. If you want to break away from traditions and make a few of your own, that would be wise. Be careful around all impulsive decisions. Excitement does not necessarily mean the decision was wise or right. Healing comes in the form of sharing sacred spaces with others, but some things will need clearing before that happens. If you are a Pisces, there are gifts coming towards you. Some are inspirational ideas and insights. Some might be a check in the mail. Family issues matter and the desire to go deeper and get into a new place of respect and understanding is the priority. Just know that while you might want to see eye to eye, others may not. Perspective is important and while this month is bumpy, it is carefully working through mistakes and misunderstandings to help you see more clearly. Thanks everyone.